Here today with Jerome Frank and Kyle Anderson from the St. Anthony's basketball program. Both juniors on the team. Team's 21-0, and 0, and uh, so far so good for the team. Guys, talk to us a little bit about Coach Hurley's influence on you. I know um, you've been with him for, for three years. Kyle, this is your first, first year with him. Um, talk to us a little bit about the preparation, how he gets you ready to, to play in these games. Well, uh, playing for St. Anthony's, you know, it's such the, the great pass that they have, you know, it's high expectations, you know. Even the former the former players expect you to be good. So, you know, you just got to go out there and play hard. Playing for St. Anthony's is a, good, is, a, is a great opportunity, so. Same thing as Kyle said, it's a great opportunity. And, like, he expects a lot of that because it's the reason players that have been like Jerry Walker and Terry Dehan. So, Coach Hurley, obviously, the success that he's had in the past makes you guys want to perform as the other past players. You just recently experienced his thousandth win, um, an honor which obviously you're, you're, you're a small part of that, but you actually got that win. Walk us through the pregame, walk us through the game time, and then the postgame and being surrounded by his family, being surrounded by his fans, and what that meant to you as a player. Well, we, we just wanted to treat it like a normal game at first, you know, do the same thing to prepare for the game, you know, scout report and everything, you know, team meal. But after the game, when we won, you know, it, it was a great uh, great thing to be a part of, you know. A thousand wins, a lot of wins. So we were surrounded by it. We were all a family together on that day, and we were just happy to be the, together and to get him as a, a thousand for Well, it was a great experience because, like as Kyle said, that, that's a lot of wins. And after the game, it was like a great feeling because we got him to a thousand wins. As a team, it seems like that's one of the most important things in St. Anthony's program is is a family. So you play as a team. It seems like, as as some Kyle, uh, as, as Miles said, you're a family. Um, so talk to us about what that means in, in, in being together, the chemistry, and how you bring that family type atmosphere and the chemistry you have as as a team onto the court, and how that helps you on the court. Well, I, I think it, uh, a lot of it starts with being off the court. We're always together, you know. A lot of us got class together, being in school together, after school, after practice, you know. That just builds a great bond between the whole fam between the whole team. So once we get on the court, you know, it's like we know where everybody is. We know what each other do. So I think a lot of it begins with off the court. Because different abilities to, like, the other team, like, the other teammates we have. We know, like, how, to, how and when to give them the ball. Now, Miles is senior, Lucky's a senior. They're the leaders on the team. It seems like that responsibility is going to fall on your shoulders. I know both of you are leaders as well, but next year this is going to be your team. Tell us a little bit about what Miles, what Lucky has, has um, given to you guys in terms of helping prepare you to become the leaders to, to lead this team in the future. Well, like you said, you know, we're going to be leaders next year, and we're just feeding off how, how they're leading the team. You know, seeing how it has to be done, you know, Miles and Lucky do a great job of leading us. You know, they held whole team meetings, you know, so we're just seeing how it goes. So next year, that's going to be us. So now, um, the recruiting process. You come to St. Anthony's, you're going to get looks. Um, in terms of the recruiting process, in terms of being in a prominent program like St. Anthony's, how do you manage the expectations? How do you step off the court, on the court, and not feel the pressure that comes along with, with playing on St. Anthony's team? You gotta be yourself and know what you gotta do before um, prior to the game. Mm -hmm. uh, the pressure, you know, it's something else, you know, but it comes along with it. If, if we plan on being this good, the pressure's gonna come, so we just can't worry about it and just on and off the court, do what we're supposed to be doing, we'll, we'll be all right. We, we got into the recruiting a little bit. Um, Kyle, you're being recruited. Um, Jerome, you're, you're, you're here and, and you're selecting schools. You're, you're trying to figure out where you're going. Talk to us a little bit about what that recruiting process has been like for you, where you guys would like to go, and what you're looking for in a school. Well, playing for St. Anthony's and AAU like, has me, got me a, a lot of looks. Especially like Miles, early in the season, try to pick his own um, schools. Gave us like gave different players the opportunity to get looked at by the different coaches. And so it's kind of rough 
because you don't know when or where the coach is going to be at. Always got to be at your top top game. Yeah. And Kyle, you've you've been recruited by by some of the top na national schools. Um, you don't have to mention the schools. Mention the process. How is it with the phone calls, with the emails? Is it overwhelming at times? Is it is it is it a situation where you, know, you just want to be left alone and and kind of lead your 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 day to day life? Yeah, personally, me, uh, I, it is overwhelming at times. But you know, now I think again, not a lot of people get to go through this process. You know, it's a good opportunity. So, but it does get overwhelming. You know, phone calls, emails. You know, it's a lot, but you know, it comes with the territory.